Sup everyone, I'm Female Taku, and I have finally caught up with Nanatsu no Taizai. Thank you so much for requesting me to read and catch up with Nanatsu no Taizai. It was certainly an enjoyable ride. And before I get down to the specific chapter review, I know a lot of people are gonna ask my overall thoughts thus far of Nanatsu no Taizai. So let me just answer what I know a lot of people are gonna ask already. Who are my favorite sins? My two favorites are Bon and Gother. Uh, other characters that are also my favorite is Hawk. And I'm not gonna lie, I really like Zaratras. And oh my goodness, how could I forget Escanor? Oh, Escanor. Give me more Escanor, please. Oh my gosh. Dude, we, we need more moments. We need more. Give me more Escanor, please. But anyway, with this chapter of Nanatsu no Taizai, chapter 181, we get fully introduced to Zaratras. Although we have met him, met him before in the past when it came to the vampires of Edinburgh, little arc there, the, the three chapters that came out way back when, but of course, you know, I recently read him. But anyway, even though Zanatras was just revived, dude is very lively, like extremely lively. He's full of joy and he makes a lot of jokes as well. I really like this guy's personality. What's interesting is that we find out that he wasn't impaled. He was actually poisoned by a pie. <laughs> uh, I was really shocked and Hawk, he was just a like, I'm pretty sure this guy's an imposter, but Elizabeth's like, no, 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 it's, it's definitely him. He has the same charm, no doubt about it. Yeah, I'd rather go with the story of him being impaled. That sounds more like a noble death than him being poisoned by a pie. But anyway, what really shocked me was how he came back because you know there was that one demon who Bond killed la uh, like a couple of chapters back, the girl who revived a bunch of dead people because of a grudge that they had, like a burning grudge that they had to fulfill. But in Zaratras's case, he only has a grudge on himself. The thing is, is that Elaine died again because Bon killed that one demon girl of the Ten Commandments, the demon girl who revived the dead because of the, the burning grudges. Elaine died because that demon died. So how come Zaratras isn't dead? Is it because maybe, what I'm assuming is that Elaine, she no longer had that grudge anymore, you know, it only lasted for like a couple of minutes and then she was back to normal. So therefore when the demon girl died, Elaine died. While Zaratras, he seems to still has a grudge, but you know, it's to himself. He's not after anyone. So I guess I'm assuming that's the reason why he's still here and why he hasn't passed on. So we go check on Meliodas and Elizabeth said that she did all she could with her healing powers, but alas, his heart stopped beating. So I was like, oh, I thought he was in a coma this entire time. That's not the case. No, Meliodas is actually dead. Like he's legit dead. Then Zaratras did this whole incantation and then they were transported into Meliodas's past memories. Not the memories from back when he was over in the Ten Commandments and he was the leader of them, but back when Meliodas first met Elizabeth. So why are we in Meliodas's memories from so long ago? Why that? time period. Why not back to when he was in the Ten Commandments to fully understand his betrayal? Why not back to him and Liz? Perhaps it's because, remember a couple of chapters back, we found out that Elizabeth is the reincarnation of Liz. So maybe that's when, around that time, Liz already passed on, either a couple of hours ago or a day, a week ago or so, and then Meliodas found Elizabeth Maybe he noticed this great glowing power within her. Something like that. I'm just throwing out ideas here. Cannot wait to see more Zatatras moments. I really like this guy. Let me know your thoughts on Zatatras and your thoughts on this manga review. Guys, do you realize this is the first of many weekly chapter reviews? Oh, so excited. Well, now that I caught up with the Natsu no Taiza, it's time to catch up with Boku no Hero Academia. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm a female otaku. Sayonara.